Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So have you ever spawned into Microsoft Flight Simulator only to find yourself right on top of another aircraft? Or how about you are nowhere near the jetway for it to connect to? Well stick around because we're going to go over how to fix these issues all coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone and let's dive right into this. Now before we do, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. So the issue that we have today is after we spawned into the airport, if you take a look, we are right on top of another aircraft. We're going to show you how we can move this around. So the first thing that we need to do is hit the escape on our keyboard and then go down to the controls options. Next thing that we have to do, get a couple key bindings set up for us. Now I recommend you to use the keyboard or if you have an Xbox controller, that would probably work very well also. So the first thing that we need to do is to go down to the search by name and we're just gonna type in SLU. So keep in mind that this can also adjust the plane position in the air as well as on the ground. So you just need to go through here and bind the correct keys for your needs. So starting down the list here, we have the toggle slew mode, and that's gonna be the use the Y key on the keyboard. This is what we're gonna to use to enter and exit the slew mode. The next one down that I recommend to use would be the slew y'all right and the slew y'all left. These are set up on the numbers three and the one key. And if we go down, to the translate right and translate left. I have that set up on the number six and four. And I also have the translate forward set up for number eight and the translate backward set up for number two. So that's pretty much all the ones that I need. But if you are gonna be using the SLU for in the air, you may also wanna set up roll axis. You wanna really go through all these and set all these up for your particular needs. And once you go through here and set all of your key bindings up, you can go ahead and hit apply and save and then go down and hit go back. So now once you are in the aircraft, all we need to do now is hit the Y on the keyboard and it will put us into that SLU mode. One thing you are gonna notice when you start moving your aircraft around in slew mode using the keyboard is that it does move it around pretty abruptly. You can still get it where you need it to go if you just play with it enough, but that's why I suggested if you have an Xbox controller, once you get in the position you need, all you need to do is hit the Y button and you are now out of slew mode. Well, I wanna thank everybody for joining us here today. I hope you learned something and please drop a comment down below if you have any questions. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button is greatly appreciated. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.